from Jane Doe from Nebraska. She asks, I'm a marijuana activist and I want to be a spokesmodel. Can you describe how you became Miss High Times and offer any advice? Okay, the first step in becoming Miss High Times is to register to be Miss High Times on the website. Um, after that, they select girls via month. Um, Miss March is what I won in 2012. After that, there's a big competition on 420. We reign 420 to 420. And there's a first, second, and third. And then the Miss High Times gets shipped around the world um, you know, to all the various cannabis events. Uh, before I won, I was going to a lot of rallies, just kind of as an onlooker at first. And then I was asked to speak. And it's very nerve-wracking to do that. But I did it. And you know, I got really involved in my community and advised people to go out and you know, kind of be more involved. If you know, I can do it, and you can do it. <laughs> Um, I think that's one of my favorite questions to be asked, you know, by girls, you know, looking to get into the industry and it's a really good, you know, you don't have to be a pretty face to, you know, get involved. You can be your own Miss High Times, I think, in my opinion. So basically, you know, everyone kind of dismisses it as a modeling competition, but in order to actually win, you need to be a lot more than a model. You need to actually participate in the industry. You need to, you know, behave in a, you know, mm -hmm. respectful manner. and you know, be, be a good representative of an emerging industry. Yes. And I, you know, I think you're a perfect embodiment of that. Now, part of that is, you know, it's not, you know, you can't be dumb. No. You actually, like, you went around the world advocating for this plant and, you know, representing high times at the same time that you were in school studying art history with a focus on... Well, you, yeah, <laughs> you, you describe, to talk about uh, your, your interest yeah, in whole, art history. The whole time I was doing the Miss High Times thing. I was a full-time student in college uh, studying art history and I kind of intermingled both of them. I would do papers on marijuana, <laughs> of course, and they actually got kind of mad about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would go on these trips and I would, you know, talk about doing that and it kind of intermingled and now being, you know, 22 in this industry after working in it for about four years, um, I just see all these new emerging fields and there's just so many more opportunities for women now. The term we like to use in the industry is called a bong humper, which was coined... Describe, describe <laughs> bong humpers. Well, I cannot take credit for the term bong humper. Yeah. It was coined by one of my editor's um, wives. Uh, it's someone who basically photo, you know, takes selfies of them smoking a bong or you know, them just next to some weed. You don't really advocate for it. You're kind of there for the attention you know, of smoking and... So you don't want to be a bong humper. You do humper. not want to be a bong humper. No, that's not, that's not the way to <laughs> no, advocate for this industry. It's not you, the way to become this high times. That time. is not how you become this high times. Um, going out into your community and being really active is how you would become a this high times. I love it.